Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We have to talk about how this foot versus promo is in the mud, right? Opinions and I guess the popularity of this promo has definitely not started off on a great note and it continued with less than desirable delivery in this game yesterday with the foot versus ice cards coming into packs. EA messed up the packs for a short time frame where they had both the fire and ice cards in packs, there were barely any, again, skill move or weak foot upgrades, which is what we thought this promo was going to be based on, what EA kind of led us to believe, and this promo is really becoming one big flop, and to be to be completely honest, that's, that's what it is. It's a flop, it's a disappointment. The Mertens SBC yesterday, we'll talk about that. I mean, that is a nice SBC, but, I mean, we didn't get any skill move weak foot upgrades with that card, and the upgrade itself is just... It's okay, right? It's not that great. Um, we also had the whole entirety of Icon Swaps leaked. Now, Icon Swaps did not drop, so we were expecting that now. Probably this next weekend or when the season ends, right? Those are our two kind of options. Uh, and we'll talk a little bit more about that as well. But let's talk about this Ice Squad, right? Because new, the, the same 11 players, but new items, technically, right? We knew this was going to happen um, once we finally came around to understanding what this promo might be about. Um, they released a, the same 11 cards into packs, just with, of course, the ice upgrades. Now, a couple of these cards look almost mirror images of themselves, and they're about the same price. There's a couple stat upgrades that are nice, a couple of them that are negative, right? Rashford is one of the negative ones. They moved around his physical and his dribbling, so his fire item is 600k because it has 90 dribbling. Uh, and then, of course, they added that three dribbling onto the defense. Or sorry, on the physical, on the free, on the ice card for Rashford, and he's he's way cheaper. So these little stat upgrades, same thing with Mbabu, right? Mbabu, they took away his defense and put it into passing. Now he got a pretty sizable passing boost from 75 to 84, but his defense went down from 84 to 80. And this card's 37,000 coins, which seems really really cheap for an Mbabu card in this game, to be completely honest with you. But a lot of the upgrades, I really don't know which one of these cards is really that hype, right? Gabriel Jesus didn't even get a five-star weak foot. They upgraded his weak foot just one star from three-star to four. Of course, his uh, shooting stats now looked they look insane for Gabriel Jesus. But it seems like people, I mean, they're trying out this brand new card. These cards are rare. That's what I, don't, what I want to talk about as well. They did run lightning rounds, and they're actually doing some late-night lightning rounds right now. Um, as I'm recording this, but there's not very many packs out and not many people are buying the lightning rounds. But all in all, this promo just seems to be a huge disappointment and a huge flop. In my opinion, I think this Correa looks a little bit better. I know the shooting got a minus three and the pace got plus three, which is, you know, putting him above the 90 threshold. But this dynamic image with the colors, I think, man, I just think that looks absolutely insane with like the white and the red and the blue. So I'm, I really like that Correa card with the dynamic image, right? But that's kind of what it comes down to with this promo. It's like, which dynamic image do you like better? And which slight difference in stats do you prefer? Joe Gomez's card kind of got a good one. They took away a little bit of physical um, and they added it to his defense. So the one, right, they're both really around the same price at the moment, but the Joe Gomez uh, card, you know, actually his fire card has gone up a lot right now. The fire cards have rebounded a decent amount, most of them. Um, you know, it was kind of how we talked about, right? Some of the, the freeze cards are a lot cheaper than the fire cards because they're not very good. And some of the fire cards rose up because of that, like Rashford, right? Rashford was 500K yesterday for his fire item. And now he's 620,000 coins after his card that went out of packs is technically the better version. So we talked about that in yesterday's video, and that is exactly the case with what happened. But these cards are really rare, so they're going to have some fluctuations probably today into Tuesday. I'm looking to kind of trade with a couple of them. Adama is one of the ones that actually had a decent upgrade. They boosted the shooting by 8 so if you want to try this guy as like a super sub striker, he now has 98 shot power uh, and, you know, 83 finishing, whereas before he had 75 finishing. So that might be an interesting card. I think some people are going to try Adama out today. These guys are really rare again. So you might see a few of them rise up today into the market on Tuesday. Nothing insane in my opinion, uh, but maybe just a little bit. Now, this is something I want to point out because I actually checked my email like you know, 30 minutes ago before I was about to record this video. And I saw I had an email from EA. And th this is again, where a lot of the confusion with this promo comes into play, right? You read this promo email that EA sent out 
Um, it's basically what they put out on the webpage. The battle of attributes begins in FIFA 22 with a new foot versus player items pitting five star weak foot against five star skill moves in a decisive footballing showdown. So when they make it look like this, I know they're talking about just Pulisic now in hindsight, right? But when we read all of this stuff, when they posted on their Instagram before this promo was out, we had our expectations up here and they now have delivered with a promo that is down here right? Because we're not getting the five-star weak foots and the five-star skills that we thought we were getting. And this really is just, it's disappointing, right? Because our expectations were placed up here, maybe wrongfully so by EA Sports. Maybe they should have worded this differently um, because they led us to believe that all of the cards were going to be getting five skills or five weak foot. Um, but this is, again, you can see how this confusion in a wording here makes us really not super happy with how this promo is being delivered in this game right now. So that's kind of what this L, right? Like that's the L part of this promo is that it just is confusing. We thought we were getting insane upgrades. The cards look great, man. I mean, can you imagine how destroyed this market would be and how many people would want to use these cards if they either had a five star weak foot or five star skills and they flip flopped it for the ice card, right? And gave that card skills, you know, like for today, if we had more guys getting skill move upgrades, more guys getting weak foot upgrades and, you know, they still move the stats around the car. I mean, it would have been such a different promo if it actually went as we expected. So that's the part that is the most disappointing for this. Now, we did get a couple, you know, decent value SBCs yesterday. Um, the Mertens SBC has a pretty high upvote here. 68% on this Mertens SBC, which, of course, you get the two items um, to choose from from here for Dries Mertens. Uh, and it's between shooting and passing, but the boost on this card really isn't that big. It's only an 84 to an 86 boost from his gold card. It's about 120,000 coins for this SBC. So unless you run a Serie A team, you need a link to like your newly upgraded Politano Road to the Knockouts card or something like that. Um, I just, this SBC is nice and a lot of people were looking forward to it, but it really needed the five star skills and the five star weak foot to make it special. And if it would have had that, then I think, I think this SBC would be so much more hype if that was the case, but unfortunately it is not. Now one SBC we did get yesterday was the 81 plus double upgrade. This is a dub, right? And I actually have not done any of these. So I'm going to whip one up here really fast. And since it's 30 chemistry as well, that's the best part. We're going to go with five. This might even be, I might not have a chemistry here, but we're going to go with five non-rares and six rares. This is basically like a gold upgrade, uh, but you turn in a couple, uh, you turn in six rares instead of just doing all non-rares. And what you get back, in my opinion, is a W, right? Let me get the chemistry on this really fast. Let's see if I can do this quickly and not take forever because sometimes chemistry on these SBCs sucks let's go boom i need a midfielder and i need another rare player all oh, this is banging let's go let's get this guy in here boom sbc's on a youtube video man who would have guessed uh but 81 plus double upgrades this in my opinion is like the best upgrade pack right i know it's not a player pick i know a lot of you guys love player picks and i'm with you on that but um you know the, this is the best upgrade pack if you guys remember fifa 20 the 81 plus double was the most insane upgrade pack. So let's see if we get anything dope here. Uh, boards would be preferred. And okay, we are going to start off with a DePaul. Nice, 82 rated. All right, so that was an L. But uh, it's obviously not a player pick, so some people won't like it. Wow, look at that. Two Argentine center mids. We'll take that, I guess. Uh, but you know, those are decent, right? It's decent. As we mentioned, lightning rounds, they're still running those, even though it's midweek. Uh, 15,000, I think they, they started this lighting round with 30,000 jumbo rare players packs an hour ago when I checked my companion app. Um, the pack weight is still very high for the ice cards as well, but again, they were only in packs for one day and how many people actually open lighting rounds on, uh, on a, on a Monday, right? Even today on Tuesday, I wonder if we see more LRs to be completely honest with you. I just don't think these ice cards are going to be as supplied. So for some of the ice cards this week, I know they're going to get hit with rewards and stuff, but for some of these items uh, that are like the more desirable one, like I would say that Adama Traore's card is more desirable um, with his upgrade to shooting. Maybe this Gabriel Jesus is a little bit more desirable uh, because he's got the four-star weak foot. He still has a lot of pace, even though it's not over 90. If this Correa becomes more desirable, um, the Kunde card I think is a bit better for the ice version and the... Joel Gomez might be a slight bit more desirable. So, you know, these cards are going to be a watch because yes, the promo is very underwhelming. And, you know, 
Also, why can't I search these cards on the market, EA Sports? I have to search by special card variant here to try to find a Dama Traore at the moment, who's 250,000 coins, uh, to find any of these cards. And I can't can't search by versus fire or by first uh, versus ice. And it's very, very confusing because I go to search the market and I see both of these cards and I have to try to find the exact one that I want. So um, not a huge fan of that, but... It just seems like all around, EA just did not want this promo to bang, right? Everywhere you look, um, it's just, there's there's nothing really insane about this promo. It's all just very meh, right? It's just very meh, right? It's like all, you know, four, five out of 10 type of material. A couple of these card upgrades, again, are nice. The stat upgrades and boosts. But um, apart from some of those minor things, this promo has just not been super duper hot which is unfortunate right and it makes us kind of think past this i will say right now a lot of people are grinding league sbcs if you're looking for something to do grinding league sbcs uh is is a really really profitable thing and it, you're you're able to stock your club with a bunch of packs you can save some packs for team of the year you can craft sbcs like Vinny jr christian pulisic Dries mertens maybe the viera if you want to the base mid icon upgrade sbc if you have not done that the league sbc grind right now um, is literally unmatched, as some people are saying. So if you're into that and you want to grind those league SBCs, um, you know whether you're doing bronze pack method or anything like that, um, supposedly that is really, really, really OP at the moment. Um, but let's move on and talk about uh, something really fast that happened yesterday. Some big news, right? Some big, big news related to icon swaps uh, because icon swaps was not released yesterday, and a lot of people thought that it was going to be. It wasn't. But we did have leaked the payout, right? What you're actually going to be able to redeem from Icon Swaps when it does get released. Now, supposedly we're getting the times 25 packs. Those have not been added to the code yet. So we would really know we're getting close to swaps when we see the 25 times 81, 82, and 83 added into the code um, and also the card design, right? When we get the card design for the Icon Swaps card, added into the code as well we would know the swaps is right around the corner which i think we'd happen to see that later on this week so i mean mid cassius mid ferdinand icon swaps in terms of like icons has always been an l uh how many prime options do we have in here prime over mars and prime zambrata mid rooney being your uh, like the highest the upper echelon i think that's a bit of a buzzkill as well i know rooney is a new icon and his card is pretty good um i just think that again for the icons that are in here the actual players it's just a bit of an l baby del piero is a very nice card prime zambrata if you want to grind to 14 tokens and then you're set let's say it's like 18 tokens again you could do 14 for zambrata and then you could do uh you know the 25 times 82 or something like that um you know if in my opinion we can already start to look at this if this is true right it's leaked but these leaks have been spot on so far and recently um if this is actually what comes out you bet you best believe you know what i'm doing i'm getting myself 75 rated or 75 of these 81 plus fodder cards sent right into my club opening them during a promo hoping to pack a promo card and just going to craft other sbcs that come out because to be completely honest with you i'm going to have more fun doing that and maybe crafting a player sbc that's a part of a, a current promo than than doing an icon uh and trying to you know bust my butt for 12 tokens to get 10 tokens and get three big packs like this i'm gonna i'm you know every single day Every single time I'm going to do that instead of busting my butt for like 14 tokens to get even a, a bit baby or mid player pick. So it all comes down to what you want to grind for swaps. But if these are true, I'm just going with the packs. I really am because gameplay is definitely not my forte. I'm going to spend as less the least amount of time there as possible. Of course, you could do all these packs. It's 10 swaps tokens and then you could still get a baby slash mid pack, which is not bad, right? If you get 18 tokens, you can do all of these and the baby mid or if you want to take a guaranteed card you could do mid casillas be set in net for for a while or a mid ferdinand that's not terrible either um i think the mid prime or a player pick a baby mid prime this would be if you want to grind to the, all the tokens th that would be a very interesting like upper echelon icon player pick right because we know the icon player picks are op the first player picks at 14 tokens and then you jump to a big one at 17 so if you want to do an icon player pick i would say 17 tokens is um you know 
sort of a, a halfway worth it gamble. So we'll see if that is confirmed, if that is true, when that is actually released. But that's kind of looking later on into this week as well. Now, Tuesday, right? What do we have on Tuesdays? It's not a Champions League week. Um, maybe another sort of... Um, pack supply SBC today. I'm really not sure. I don't think there's a lot of leaks for today's content as well. Really not sure what's going to be happening today on Tuesday. Um, I'm going to be hitting some 81 plus upgrade packs. And you know, we're one day away from that. What I talked about in yesterday's double upload, the next generation star player, I think that's going to even kind of gain some traction this week, because most people are going to be looking forward to that since with this promo, there's really not that much to look forward to. I don't think that we're going to get another icon SBC because of course, we have the base mid that is still live. Um, I've been trading with a few cards, right? I bought some Antonys in the high 140s at 150 flat, making a few thousand coins of profit a piece on some of these cards. I've still got my fodder lazy listed very high. And I do have some other buys. I bought some Serie A cards yesterday. Also some of the fire cards that when they went out of packs, I bought some Claude Maurice down here at like 37,000 coins. I got a couple Tonalis. Uh, I got some Tamori's really low. He was 110 yesterday before Mertens came out. There was so much hype for Mertens um, that I bought a few of those Serie A cards, especially after I made the video yesterday and thought about, you know, if anybody gets a star player, right? The next gen star players. If you don't know anything about that, check my second latest upload. I'll even link it right above here um, on what is going to be happening on Wednesday in this game because everybody's going to be getting a free pack. Literally, if you log into FIFA, you get this free pack. Uh, this Tamori is actually up 20,000 coins. He was 110. He's now 130. And with that Teo Hernandez item being a part of what could be in your next gen star pack, um, then I, I think that's going to have some potential to rise. And I saw the Syria A uh, hype coming. So that's why I went out and picked up a couple of these. Tonali, I believe, might be. He's still around 43K. So that hasn't moved. Kessie, I got one of those at 130. And Kessie right now is. I think he's like 140. I think he's up a little bit. Yeah, 144, 139 at the moment. So if we see any more panic today on Tuesday, I might go in on a few more of those cards. But right now is just going to be a good time to trade. And I think I'm going to zero in on some of these brand new promo cards because they're rare, right? I'm, I'm taking a look at this Gabriel Jesus with that weak foot upgrade. The Adama, I've already bought a couple of Adamas tonight around 230. Uh, because he was 220 and then shot up to 260. And then they released these lightning rounds and he got supplied a little bit more. So I'm hoping that Adama shoots up a bit after uh, into today on Tuesday. So I'm kind of looking at some of these versus ice cards because they are really rare, right? These cards are really rare since they were just released into packs. And for the ones that people want to actually try out, right? I know Rashford, you know, we've had Pulisic and we have Vinny right now, but Rashford is really rare. His fire card bounced pretty well. We have a lot of supply coming in from the late night lightning rounds. 484. Yeah, that is pretty low. Did they release another lightning round? I, th I think they probably did the 81 to 89 pack because that's usually what they release at like, what is this, 4 a.m. UK time, 11 p.m. Eastern? Yeah, they did the 10, 81 to 89. But what's the probabilities? 7.6% uh, for, for an ice player, which basically all the cards that are in the promo team are 84 to 89 anyway. So <laughs> all of the cards are packable at the moment. That's why you probably see a little bit of that, of that supply coming in from those packs, even though I doubt the weight is really that good anyway. So we're going to try and trade it with a few of these. I mean, Correa was at like 280. See if I can snag one of these at like 280. Maybe he goes over 300 a little bit today. Again, you saw the fire cards rebound decently out of packs. And I think that's just because they're pretty rare, right? Uh, the Claude Maurice, he was actually 42K. I'm going to keep holding on to that card. Uh, and Babu got bought up yesterday. We talked about this in the video too. And Babu got bought up because people saw that his ice card was not very good. He went from 56K all the way up to 70. He's back down to 62. And I think he's back down because his ice card is so cheap, right? 39K for Mbabu is just crazy. And even if I look at the rest of his team, Schultz is 17K. Again, I mean, please buy one of those, put it on your transfer list because that's going to be 25, 30,000 coins in the next couple of months just because of the links that card has. Kunde was 300K last night. He's back up 30,000 coins. Valverde has actually flown uh, 855. He was in the 700s. He was 740 yesterday. So he's up like 100,000 coins, over 100,000 coins out of packs just because, yes, these cards had a very high pack weight, but they were good. People want to use them. And they were only in packs for three days, right? They were only in packs for three days. Now, EA, I forgot to talk about this too. EA actually messed it up yesterday. Uh, this is a screenshot I took on Companion App. Yesterday, um, like right after the content drop, they still had some of the 
fire items in packs. We were very confused. EA tweeted it out. They said, hey, we messed up. We put the wrong cards in packs. Uh, and I think they fixed it because if you check the odds again right now, it does not show that there are ice cards in packs. But still, it just it just seems like everything is going wrong this promo. And it, I don't know. I don't know if like EA has like people that would like take the week off. I, I We really, it doesn't make sense. It does not make sense that we see such a crazy like black friday there were no errors there were li li literally no issues and then we have this promo where it's just issue after issue after issue and it's it's crazy right it's very inconsistent but that's something that we've always seen with this company that does not surprise us so that's kind of the pulse of the game now today on tuesday again it's a really big question mark for content today right there's no ucl stuff no ucl marquee matchups and we didn't even have that last time they did that um, of course the UCL draw, they took some notes from EA sports. They had to redo the draw because the computers messed up. That was wild. If you were following that yesterday. Uh, so PSG was supposed to play Man U, and now Man U is playing Atletico and PSG is playing Real Madrid. So that was kind of nuts to follow that. Of course, yesterday as well today, content wise though, honestly, I don't expect too much. It might be a day if, if there's some panic selling heading into 6 PM, uh, like, you know, they, they might release another one of these, uh, you know, versus themed uh, challenges inside of an SBC. Maybe there's some sort of player SBC that is released, but I don't think they would drop too many of these versus player SBCs during the week. We've had Pulisic and Mertens, and that's it for a player pick version. So I'm, I'm really curious to see what the content is today on this game. I just don't think it's going to be that insane. We have an icon SBC that is out um unless they were to put some sort of crazy uh, yeah i don't know we're getting theoretical at this point and I, you know there's really no reason to panic so that's why i'm not too worried about trading with some of these cards that i have um on my transfer list just trying to get some of these flips out right i, I think that people are playing some games it's a tuesday usually the market does decently well on tuesday anyway and if there's any panic selling today uh then you know we will buy into that and there's no content which i really don't expect there to be anything crazy probably see a rise post content on some of those cards so that's kind of the move in my opinion for trading watch icons right the icons that are leaked to be in swaps like rooney del piero desai those cards are really moving on the market this rooney was down yeah still is 890k del piero was down a bunch because now people are selling it off and expecting the market drop when swaps actually come del piero is six was it did i just see 630 yeah wow that's crazy yeah 635 for del p is low so it, it, feel, it feels like everybody right now is just disappointed with this promo. And, you know, I share in that sentiment with you because it just, it's it's not hitting home, right? It's really not hitting home. Now, luckily, it sounds like whatever promo is coming next is insane. And we might be as close as one day away from a loading screen for the next promo, right? Wednesdays have been loading screen days. I'm sure there's going to be leaks coming out soon. So um, once we start to get some of that information, we'll start talking about it uh, leading into whatever promo could be this coming Friday. Please just bring Footmas back esports. This That's the only way uh, you can uh, make things fair, right? Make things even and fair and pay us back for whatever shocking promo that this is versus uh, that has been released. So just, can we have Footmas back esports? That would be great. That'd be a great uh, repayment for whatever atrocity the promo this is at the moment. So that's the video for today. I don't like being negative boys, but it's uh, we're just being realistic is what we're being today, right? I feel like not very many people are super duper excited. It's just slightly an L, right? We were expecting more and our expectations were not met. It was under delivery. And uh, that's kind of the way that it is right now on this game. And that's why we feel the way that we do. But if you did enjoy the video, smash the thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you are new. It has been Nate the Foot Account and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.